Hello everybody and welcome to another data recovery video. This time I'm working on a Samsung 850 Pro SSD that stopped working and it's been mailed in from the fashion capital of Australia, Melbourne. So let's take a look and see if I can recover the data. So the first thing I'm gonna do is check all the electronics and see if I can find a fault there. We got a memory chip here, memory chip here, the main controller, we got RAM here, and we got some electronics. So we're doing a visual inspection to see if there's anything obviously wrong. Sometimes you might see burnt out marks or burnt chips, broken components. So we wanna make sure it's in good health before we power it on. We don't want any unnecessary risk. All the electronics look okay there. Now we got the 5 volt input comes over to here. Down here we got our power management system. Everything looks in good condition and another two memory chips. Let's get the multimeter and run some checks. So we got the SSD powered up and it is drawing 1.4 watts. That is within normal working range, I'm satisfied there. Now I'm just gonna take some basic measurements with the multimeter, specifically starting with input at five volts, that is correct. It then flips over to the back side where we're getting five volts. 5 volts, that is correct. Now we'll just go down to the power management and we'll check all our inductors. Uh, this is where all the different voltages for all the different components are separated. 1 volt to the top, 3 volts to the bottom, 1.8, 1.2, 5 volts, that must be input, I can't remember. That is all within range. We'll just check this input capacitor for the voltage of a memory chip, and that's three volts for this model. That is correct. So there's no obvious faults with the electronics at the moment. Let's power it up where I get some feedback from the ATA registers and see what's happening, how it's detected and what it's doing. So let's turn it on and have a look. I said I wanted to look at the status register, which is down the bottom left corner. You can just see it. And we've got a busy indicator. That is not good at all. That means that it's busy, it's non-responsive. Same as saying it's non-responsive. So this will not ID in a busy state. So what I'm gonna do is I'm very familiar with this model and this technology. I'm gonna put it into a engineering mode and see if I can get the SS SSD to detect in an engineering mode. Okay, so I've enabled the engineering mode. There's a couple of points on the SSD that I need to switch. And that is the opposite now, so that's come ready. That's a good thing. So let's just see if I get an ID. Now, for the first time, we're talking to this SSD. Uh, we've got model Samsung SATA SSD. Serial number is all zeros, and capacity is 415 megabytes. That's, that's because it's in engineering mode. So it's not the correct ID for a working Samsung 850 Pro. This one's 250 gigabytes. So now what I'm going to do is upload some firmware to try and get access to the data on this SSD again. Uh, instantly you can see we've got, for the first time, the correct model uh, in the ID. Let's see if we've got access to the data again. We'll have to just see if I can access any sectors on it. And there you go. Yes, we can. If we flip through, we now have a reading SSD. So let's see if we can get the customer's files and folders back. That's what they want. And there's some good news. We got access to all the data back in its original condition to give back to the customer. And if you need data recovery from a faulty SSD, then visit our website, zeroalpha.com.au. You can mail in an SSD for data recovery from anywhere in the country or world. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.